Hi all, uh, today we're making a video about uh, DJI Phantom 3 standard and well I got that drone less than a month or so so far I'm kinda I, I kinda like it and uh, the thing is you guys already know me probably if I don't like something I will modify it and when I got that, when I got that drone first thing I recognized that uh, phone bracket I mean to hold phone it's kind of joke. I mean, it's not acceptable. It's so flimsy. It's waved back and forth pretty bad. What I did, like a lot of people do, they push the tablet mount for uh, Phantom DJI 3 Professional or uh, Advanced. And I believe that also that mount, same mount as for DJI uh, Inspire 1. Anyway, it mounts like that. Uh, the, the, there's a stud going inside the collar. Uh, a lot of people leave it the way it is. I glue it with epoxy. That means there's no space, it's no loose space inside. Basically, it's not moving. That adapter, uh, I also did modify it a little bit because when my uh, device sits in, that's a Samsung Tablet 4, 8 inches. And for example, I'm flying or so, and I have to go back to main menu. I will have to push that physical button. And when you push that physical button, you're applying pressure a little bit on the. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. On the tablet itself. And few cases I got when tablet come loose from a rocket, and hit hit a uh, uh, ground. Luckily, right now winter is uh, we got plenty of snow. It hits snow, but uh, it didn't damage it at least. Anyway, I, after that, I decided I, I I have to do something. And the thing is, inside the spring, it has a spring. Basically, when you when you was pushing button, it will open it by itself. It mean when you push it in and try it, I mean lock it and hold it, applied pressure, the spring will be always pushing pushing out. I removed that spring. Then also to prevent tablet come loose, like previously when when, when you push it, I added those uh, I mean limiters or lips whatever you can call. You see it's holding tablet. The tablet will not move anywhere. Yeah. And also for for additional pressure to squeeze it in. I added those kind of, uh, what's it called? It looks like a little mushrooms. You can put rubber band, additional one, to to apply it more pressure. That's uh, about that bracket. And the uh, second thing, what I did, because the stack range is not is not as great as they advertise it. I believe in specs they say it can go up to uh, one kilometer. Uh, when I was flying. And I didn't try to go for the record, but anyway, when I was flying, I believe it's on a 300 meter or so, I lost signal, signal and activated return to home, and drone get back, I was kind of happy to, uh, to see it coming. But I recognize that I need to do something with range. Like a lot of people do, pushes in AR uh, JTAG uh, extension kit, extended range kit. That's what it left from. Pretty much it will mount it over here and then controller even gets even bulkier and if you have a carrying case that full-size carrying case I call uh, which kind of you can pick it up on eBay for 100 bucks or less uh, where controller sits vertically even when you take antennas off but with that bracket mounted in you not can close it lid at least the one I got you not can close it I mean you kind of force it but it still uh, will be, I mean, a lot of pressure on, on, on the on that bracket. And like I said, it may control even bulkier. As you see, it, it will be mounted right here. And plus, plus antennas, an, another inch and a half. What I did, I modified my controller, uh, make it, uh, made, made custom, custom made a couple studs. And fits antennas nicely. And one thing I really like it. I'm usually when I'm flying antennas like that sits and it, I, I make those studs a little bit in an angle probably three four maybe five uh, degree slope when I'm holding controller like like I always do antenna already pointed uh, on a slope 
which like I said I mean so far uh, the farthest I flew it a little, little little over 500 meters no glitches which which kind of happy and pretty much like that well if you guys like it my uh, mods leave it coming oh and then another thing I uh, it was kind of looking for for uh, uh, tablet hood or whatever you can call I look at maybe there are some plastic ones for like 20 bucks 20 30 dollars of course I don't want to pay that much from cardboard box really kind of quick one but it works I cut a big hole for, for the mounting device a little one for, for power and volume control it works pretty good actually well I hope you guys liked my video if you do thumbs up if you want to see my far, uh, future videos, uh, su subscribe. If you do have uh, comments, idea, or complaints, leave it comments. We go from there. Thank you and have a great day. Bye bye.